We are going to witness the most anticipated match in the history of Command and Conquer Entertainment for the Heavyweight Championship of the World. Are you ready? Command and Conquer fans around the world, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! It's time! All right, we got the Cyan, Lord of the Masnod, versus the retired Venus Traveler. Venus is going to be on the left side of the map, and will be Lamas on the right side of the map. This is going to be Tournament Rift. See how this goes. Hoping for a good game here. In the upper right hand corner, we have Lamas as the Cyan Nod. On the left side of the map, we have Traveler 59 as the Pink Venus. The absolute most played map in the game. Tournament Rift. Also the best map, so there's no reason not to. Also, from 2010 through 2000, no, 2011 through 2015, the most played matchup on Rift. Traveler, 59 versus Nod. So, most played matchup on the most played map. Let's see how it goes. Both players will be going shadow teams and uh, fast legs, but I didn't have to tell you that. You all already knew. Because that's what happens every single time. The only variation is how many buzzers, how many disintegrators go down. And also, how many uh, shadow teams? Some people go three, some people go one, some people go two. I got an interesting build, actually, where I'll build one out of the barracks, then sell the shrine. I know, it's stupid. But that's the way I like it. And he has no idea how to play Traveler, and it's pissing me off. You're supposed to keep the buzzers and disintegrators literally engulfed in your, buzzer, in your uh, engineers here. Oh, does he have the micro? Oh my god, he's gonna get these. Oh! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked Four. up! Okay, well, the beginning of that was horrible micro by the Traveler player. And then the end was horrible micro by the, um, the Nod player. Okay, when the, sh when the Shadow Team was here and the buzzers were here... Should have cut this way. Pop the engineer, and when the when the buzzers came to sweep in and prior from this way, cut around the spike and come to the back. Yes, they're gonna be right on your heels, but you'll have killed the one engineer. You'll know the one engineer is already in this area, and you'll just come around, just have to like just pretty much juke the buzzers until you see the engineer going for it. Yeah, it would be a little difficult. I don't know if this rifle one's gonna make it in there. It will. Who else close though? They're going to take that bunker out, though. Wow. I don't know what these engineers are doing. Nod player is in a lot of trouble. We got three spikes versus one spike. Uh, he's very behind. He's got uh, two, four harvesters, two Here comes the money! Here we go. Money six, talks. Seven Here comes the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> He's loaded. He's absolutely loaded right now. But how Rift usually goes is the one player is going to get both spikes and the other player is going to lose two engineers. 99% of the time, that's how it goes in the Traveling Nine matchup. And from that point, whoever doesn't get the spikes limps on. If I don't get the spikes, I'll usually put up two war factories and go all in, or I'll put up two war factories and bring my MCV for anti air. Because you know your opponent's going to go Storm Riders. 
buggies is definitely the right way to go here if you're not going to move the MCV. It's really the only way to deal with the Storm Riders. You can't go bikes because bikes just get absolutely destroyed. He's even long harving the blue. He does have an okay saturated single field here, so he's doing all right on that front. But he's about to put his refinery down on this expansion. He doesn't even have a. He hasn't eaten half his field yet. He's oh, he's got so much money. We could see uh, Stealth Tank Raider Buggy, like my absolute favorite against Traveler. He is really far behind, so it might not make a difference. But if he gets some Stealth Tanks out with the right upgrades, he could pull this. Because he's doing the absolute best counter you could do is Raider Buggy Stealth Tank the Storm Riders. And he still is retaining his own spike, so he's okay there. The Storm Riders have not done any harassment yet. Uh, he's slowly going to like slip his advantage away if he doesn't start doing something with these. The 12th Storm Rider is out. I'm sure there's about to be a pain put on him soon. Uh, no upgrades, just the Stealth Tank Raider Buggy being put down. I don't agree. He's mo he moving his MCV to the blue now, but there's not enough blue there to make a difference. Uh, the Storm Riders are going to be grouping up here. They're going to be coming in. He may not know uh, the Stealth Tanks that he may try to challenge the buggies. I uh, would not shoot the Harvester with the Stealth Tanks. If I was an odd player, I would absolutely not do it, but he's going to do it. His opponent did not know that he had stealth tanks, and he just gave it away. Uh, so he's going to stay away from that army. Yeah, he's going to stay over here. I'm really disappointed that he did that. Uh, I really hope he plays this out right. How many stealth tanks does he? He only has two with this army. That's, that's not going to be enough. MCV is kind of a sitting duck right now. Gotta move this. Sorry, guys. One moment. Yeah, so, looks like he didn't lose any stealth things. Maybe he took, yeah, he took some damage to some of his raider buggies. That's the point. Oh, uh, we have the storm riders over here. Oh, it's so close. He's gotta get his horse off the dock. Get off the dock! Stop docking! He's gonna undock his harvesters. Why isn't he microwing? It's oh man, come on. He's gonna try to grab the spikes, but this, uh, don't bring in one stealth tank. Oh Jesus! You need the buggies to tank while the, the stealth tanks destroy them. But it looks like he's gonna try to kill the tech center, which is a huge mistake because these stealth tanks are gonna go extremely hard on these storm riders. He may not even get this, and if he does, it's going to be at the cost of 12 Storm Riders. He, uh, he's, yeah, he is going to get it, but at the cost of his entire army. And he's going to lose the uh, the spikes here. Never mind. The uh, He wasn't paying attention. He's got a lot of stealth tanks. If he keeps them alive and builds more buggies here, maybe some Scorps to mix in. I'd build Scorps, actually. He's got to get these uh, these spikes. He's got to sell the op center and go for the bike uh, the spikes. Hopefully he micros these stealth tanks extremely well here. Lost one stealth thing. That's not good. You should be losing any of these stealth tanks. Yeah, you got to micro the stealth tanks in and out while the buggies tank the damage. That's what needs to be done here. Yeah, he's not doing a very good job of that. We got a tech center up. Still a full saturation. Still three spikes. Using the black hand squad tank the damage really smart. Not microing his stealth tanks. Come on. Oh my god. Those are, they're $1,800 a piece. That's more than two seekers per stealth tank he's got to kill. Hey, he's just not doing it. This one's going to die. It's, it's free kill. Oh, come on. Oh, he's building more buggies. No need for that. Well, I guess he is building air, but he's going to need um, scorpion tanks. Need, he needs some oomph to his army here. That's good. No, you don't have to go in and out with the buggies. You double tap A with the buggies, and you take, and then you micro the stealth tanks. 
Uh, he does have three spike now. Uh, there is there is an opportunity for a comeback here. These stealth tanks start finally starting to put some hurt. Just three stealth tanks alone. If he oh if that goes heroic, I oh my god I would go kill that spike with that stealth tank to get that thing heroic. That would be fantastic. One uh, heroic stealth tank can win a game against a especially against Scrid. Just one. That's all you need. And if he kills this drone ship, that could be it. No! Where is it? Get out! He's gonna try to micro that stealth tank! Oh my. He wants the heroic so bad, I can tell. Get out of there! No, why did he stop? Run for the stealth tank! Run! Tip core, but he doesn't need it to. That's incredible. Oh, I cannot wait to watch this thing go to work. I heroic stealth tank is probably one of the best heroic units in the game. The, oh, but he's he's he's, he's oh, it takes so much. It heals so fast. Unreal, absolutely unreal. What that stealth tank can do. I'm not sure. If a, um, a storm column one shots that or not, well, it's heroic. I think it gets it down to like a hair of health. He needs to be doing something with it. He needs to be constantly using that unit to its full potential here. Uh, he, he needs to be sending it in right now and doing something with it. I don't know why he's just sitting there. Come on, har harass, do something. There he's finally going in. Oh, he should come up here and just start popping down on these units. It could be a storm column, he, so he's got to be careful. A lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tripods. We do have some photon cannons. I wouldn't worry about photon cannons. I, don't, I think he can, it can tank the photon cannon with enough time to kill it. But he's got a micro. Oh no, 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 no! Uh, so it does. Touch it's on the third, in the burst. Can't touch. He's all right. It's healing. He's got a lot of rockets here. Doing all right. He's, he's fighting back. He, he's, he's fighting. If he picks up these tripods, he could be okay. Oh, but the MCP's getting hit. Oh, phase is down. He's got a backup micro. The stealth tank. Absolutely amazing, that stealth tank. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. He's not microing down where he should be microing. That's the problem. See. Get it over with. His rockets are really potent at the moment. He still has the spikes. That's what's important. He, he, he's, li he's living off the spikes and there's a little bit of Tiberium that he's getting. Oh, I'd hit those harvesters. I wouldn't let those dock. I would not let those dock at all. There you go. Don't even let them dock. Oh man, this is an intense game. That's that's the end of his eco. He sells off that MCV. That's the end of the eco. So if he if he plays extremely well, this could be crazy. What? Oh my God! One stealth tank can change. Oh, what was he doing? He ran into it. Change the spike. His opponent has no economy, so <laughs> all he's got to do is live. He's got another uh, refinery down. Transfer these heart. There he goes. He's transfer. That's, that's very smart. He's transfer immediately. His opponent's probably trying to get some refs down. But he's got a lot of buzzers. 
All it's going to take, though, is um, one hallucinant grenade. And those buzzes are going to be extremely sad campers. Probably not going to... He's not paying attention. That's going to be the end of his infantry. He got some hallucinogenic grenades off. Don't know if they're actually killing each other, though. That is an insane amount of tripods. He's gonna go for the husks. <laughs> I had a game just like this, but I, my stealth tank didn't die. And what I had done was I packed up my MCV, cloaked it, killed any Seekers that were on the map, and then I immediately killed his, uh, well, I killed the War Factories first, then I killed the Seekers. And then after that, it was just me picking away at him the rest of the game. And while he had to run for and look for an MCV that he couldn't see. Alright, so he knows he's got the tripods up here. He's going to run back to here and try to make a, a standoff. A bunch of rockets, you're going to have to, like, get a, a crazy concave. What you not want to do is just bunch them all here and let the tripods run forward. Just put them everywhere. Put rockets... Okay, that was stupid. That should be another barracks making rockets. He just has to live. This is stupid. He should not be running. He needs to hold off. He does not have enough rocket squads to hold this. I don't know why he's running away. I have no idea why he's running away. Looks like the screen guy is worse than he is because he's actually running from like 10 rockets. He's, you know, he's, he's donating one of his tripods. Every unit the Traveler guy loses is just really bad. I'd kill that spike immediately. Oh, we got a buzzer swarm here. He took that one out relatively okay. Let's go. Oh, no, he's still going. Not enough uh, anti-infantry there. He's got an obelisk ready. He needs he needs a lot more rockets. He needs a lot more rockets. Is he gonna go back to defend himself? No, he's gonna go for the final sweep. Oh, I really hope he doesn't mess this up. He's he's going the wrong way, and he's gonna his rockets are gonna bunch up and they're gonna get run over. Oh my goodness, this is this is crazy. Well, there goes all the rocket squads. And he can't outrun the, uh, the tripods. Oh, man. That's just... That, dis that makes me sad. And there's the mechapede. Oh! With crazy EMPs! This could be good! This Power these down! Power these down! Power these down! Come on! This is where we fight. He's, just he's just trying to sweep this over here. This is where they power. die! And the shield falls! <laughs> oh, I really hope I see MPs. He's got the, he's got some reinforcements coming in now. He's got reinforcements. He oh my gosh, this is crazy. I just don't know if he's gonna survive. There's just, there's a lot of rockets here. Oh man, he needs to keep every structure. He needs to keep every structure to, to hold off the DPS. He's, he's, he's got to hold these tripods. He's got to double tap it. He's got to sell the obelisk. They're, they're in his own way. He's got to survive. This is so crazy. Oh, my God. He needs that barracks. He's going to lose the barracks. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's all he has left. I don't know where the peds went. He's, try he's trying to kill it. With... <laughs> With the lightning spike. <laughs> this is crazy. I, I don't know if he knows there's a mecha feed coming. This one peed could be the game changer. He needs to surround it. That's what he's going to do. He's going to surround the power plant. <laughs> oh my god. He could probably kill these. I, I'd try to kite the tripods. I wouldn't even. Oh no. He's leaving. He's leaving. Oh my god, he doesn't know what to do. He's panicking with the peed. He's panicking. Oh my god. You need to take these harvesters and surround and like try to block it so that whatever units come in have to work their way for it. This is crazy. I don't know. He, he, okay, he's decided to go for it. He could probably get it. If he doesn't focus the head down immediately, he can melt that power plant. Oh my god.
Oh my god! Oh my god! Hit the power plant! Oh my god! Is he gonna get it? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> I don't even know who won! I don't even know who won that! I don't even know who won! What just happened? I couldn't- I couldn't see both at the same time! Oh my god! I- I forgot to hit